everybody. Welcome back to Lyrical Resonance, where we believe that where words fail, music speaks. I'm super excited today because I'm getting back into the band Whom I Serve. This is only the second song they've ever put out. This is their song, See Us Through. Now, if you don't already know, we did a reaction to their song, Burn Me Alive, and it was fantastic. I'm excited to check this out, man. Uh, that song kind of blew my mind. Really excited to see what they did the second time. This is uh, some friends of mine, Jonathan Barnes, Aaron Ashcroft, and Jared Michael Esposito. Super excited for these guys, man. They're just making awesome killer music, and I can't wait. So I'm not going to spend much more time talking. If you haven't already, if by the end of this video you like what you see, hit the subscribe button because where words fail, music speaks, and we're going to explore what it has to say. So join me as we jump into See Us Through by Whom I Serve. This is so different from Burn Me Alive. Um, number one, it's way more aggressive. Um, it sounds crazy good. The drums, again, Aaron just dominated. Uh, just in the first 49 seconds, it, it's killer. That guitar riff is fantastic, and I like the lyrics. We're at war, pick a side. You know, our captain, by the way, he's riding a white horse. If you know your scripture, you're familiar with what they're saying here. This is cool conceptually, musically. I dig it. Oh, that was one thing I know that they had uh, they had been told a lot was that they were uh, people were wanting to hear a, a more heavy more breakdown and so they they kind of shifted their gears a little when they went to the studio for this so I if we're gonna get a breakdown man we're in for a treat. <laughs>
it just doesn't let up, man. It just doesn't let up. And I love it. And it's like in your face. And that guitar riff is so full. And oh my gosh, man, this is, this is quite the opposite uh, in my mind of Burn Me Alive. Burn Me Alive was good, don't get me wrong, and real heavy, but this, man, the guitars in that are... <sighs> what is even happening with those guitars, man? This sounds amazing. Goodness gracious, I love the sound of this. Come on, man, let's go. Absolutely. Um, what just happened? This was so good. Um, man, I am really, really impressed by what these guys continue to keep doing, man. Like, their music is just so good. Um, and for a group of guys that hasn't been playing together long to be able to produce something that is this clean and sounds so cohesive and good, it's just really impressive, man. Um, like I said, the, the guitars were phenomenal, man. Those those riffs and that breakdown were fantastic. And um, Jared, man, your guitar playing is insane here. Uh, Aaron, your drums, very, very good, dude. Love it, love it, love it. Sounds awesome. And Jonathan, man, your, your screams are harsh. They remind me a lot of um, kind of old school El Nino a bit. Like, if you go listen to those songs... Um, like, uh, if you go listen to Murder Murder, I think it was their first album, and listen to the way the dude sounds when he's screaming, that is very similar to this, it's really good, and holy smokes, dude, talk about, uh, an epic song that is kinda in your face and really, really good, I mean, it's, when you hear Christian rock, like, you type, you, you typically expect to hear, um, and there, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good Christian rock that is, um, like, full of great messages and, and somewhat controversial stuff from time to time, and even, like, bold and brash, and like, like, just listen to Impending Doom, for example, they are not afraid of putting out music that might offend people, honestly, and it's, it's the kind of music that we need, um, I did a reaction to War Music by Impending Doom, and it was crazy how heavy it was and how much it was talking about just like going to war like in, a, in, in the spiritual sense, you know. And I see this song very much in the same vein as that thematically. Not musically. Um, they're, they're not quite at the heavy level of impending doom. But man, thematically, I think of this very much in those terms where it's very, um, very, we're in a war, man. Pick a side. Quit, quit sitting on a fence, so to speak. You know, we're, we're, we're in the spiritual battle and apathy doesn't help. Passiveness doesn't help. We have to be involved. We have to be active in our faith. And it's so important as Christians that we don't just be passive, you know, like we don't just sit back and what's going to be is what's going to be like, we can't do that. Now, at the same time, though, there's got to be a nuance to it. And there's got to be a balance between recognizing that you're at a war or you're in a war and that you have to be willing to do the difficult thing and have the hard conversations and you know you got to be willing to take some hits but and this is really important we cannot fight this war with a sense of superiority and we can't do it with a sense of well I'm being kind because I'm telling them they're going to hell listen if you're going to tell somebody, if you're going to be bold enough to tell somebody they're going to hell because they don't believe in Jesus, just strap in because it's that you are never going to get very far in that kind of a conversation. You, we have to earn the right to be heard by people. I mean, Christian influence is very minimal anymore, especially in Western civilization. And so 
we can't just assume that people are going to want to hear what we have to say about Jesus and about our faith. And, um, you know, you, you can't do that. You can't, you just, it just doesn't work, you know? And so we have to be aware of that. And we have to understand that when we're going to go have these conversations, when we're fighting the spiritual fight, and most of the time, let's be really honest, a lot of the time, the spiritual fight we fight is stuff that's personal and relates to us. It's not going to be these big interpersonal confrontations, right? And so we have to keep that in mind that we can't, we can't treat people like crap in the name of, well, I want them to get saved. Look, I want people to get saved too, but I'm not about to go and try to, number one, I'm not going to try to save them because I can't. That's the Holy Spirit's job, not mine. And the minute I think it is my job and I think, wow, that person got saved because of me, I have no longer been a witness and I am a manipulator and that's wrong. It's the Holy Spirit's job to save people. And yes, he will work through us to speak the message that's going to soften someone's heart. But it's not our words. It's him working through the words. And so I want people to get saved, but I'm not willing to make Jesus look like he only cares about the numbers. <laughs> I want them to know that Jesus cares about them. That he cares about who they are that they have value. And I, if I just look like I'm trying to check a box and I, and I just you gotta get saved, you gotta get saved, you gotta get saved. Look, I might believe that wholeheartedly, but if I'm not presenting it in a way that is filled with grace and is compassionate and trying to meet people where they're at, odds are I'm gonna have an uphill battle. And so it's just... Yes, we are in a war, and I, I love this song because it gives gives that kind of motivating song, a lot like with War Music by Impending Doom, that kind of motivating, let's do this, let's get in the fight, you know, let's be active in our faith and not passive. So we are in a fight, but we have to be careful, and we have to be wise about how we go about this fight. So man, I, I really, really enjoyed this. This was so cool. Um, if I were to give it a rating on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being terrible and 10 being amazing, I would probably give this song, you know, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 10. I will, I'll give it a 10. It just, it surprised the heck out of me, man. It was so good and so heavy and, and everything, any criticism I might have had with Burn Me Alive, they improved on here with See Us Through. Uh, the only, the only, I guess, criticism uh, I could give would be the verse, um, or not the verse, the chorus, excuse me, um, seemed a little bland. Uh, just, it, I feel like it could have used maybe a little bit more, but I didn't dislike it. Like I said, it was really good. And if I don't even, like, it wasn't so much a chorus as it was, I, I it, it was, it was a chorus, but it was less chorus and more like, transition i guess and so it just i feel like that could have used just a little something more but aside from that i mean the song was flawless very well executed the production's great drumming was amazing guitars were great vocals were great lyrics were great um so yeah i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because it, to me it is a 10 out of 10 kind of song i really really enjoyed this man aaron jared jonathan well done you three this was Excellent. Uh, also, I can't forget, and I keep trying to. Adam Shredder is in this song. Um, I don't. I, I've never checked out his stuff really before, um, but he was in this song, and so that that's really cool that they featured uh, him here. Uh, really, really awesome. Like I said, this was very well done. I really enjoyed it. <sighs> Go subscribe to whom I serve. Give them some support because they're awesome, and this is very deserved. Anyways. Uh, you know what you have to do though. Get in the comments and tell me what did you think about this song on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being horrifying, 10 being amazing. Where would you rank it? Because I want to know. And then uh, if there are any songs you want me to check out, leave a comment. Email me at lyrical.resonance.ia at gmail.com or find me on Facebook and connect with me there. In any case, I'm really glad you guys tuned in. If you liked what you saw, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and maybe like it and share the video. Um, but subscribe because where words fail, music does speak and we're going to continue being here to listen to what it has to say. But until our next one, as always, you guys stay safe and be blessed.
We'll see you soon.